Welcome into our final gold medal match of the evening. It's the women's open division. We're ready to go. It's Christine Barksdale and Joy Leasing against Alex Hamner and Jennifer Lucor. The latter three-time reigning champions and right off the bat, the pace increases and slows down. We sure to have a doozy here, huh? You got that right. They're coming out and they're looking at the focus. It's been a long, long layoff for these two teams. That one goes out. You got to remember one thing now. Jennifer and, and uh, Alex have been here three years in a row. And so they're ready, but they never, never take anything for granted. They turn the side out. And Christine Alex is, will, will and Christine is uh, if you remember the men's open, Wesley Gaperson, Christina Barksdale's his mixed doubles partner. And they're rated in the top three in the country. So here we go. Already Call a business. point. You're going to see the forehand just incredible yeah. speed. Alex and Jennifer are very powerful players, and they have some of the quickest way. hands of any ladies you'll ever see. Well, that's one, how you become three, oh, three, three, three time or any champions. And this is four P. Yeah. Now, have they ever been in the losers bracket? Yes, they have. Okay. No. Yes, they have. How Tournament many champions. Years ago? Tournament champions in Ogden last year. One first there or there. Oh yeah, but there Jennifer. is no give on any of these four ladies. They're, they came here to play on this. 202. Just enough. Touched up ahead there by. As the years Christine have gone Barksdale. by, they've all they've all matured. Christine stays with the underhand. Well, what, what they all matured was Alex and Jen. Or, uh, Alex and Jen. Christine goes deep and oh. couldn't get back but, there. But they Jennifer never learned there. to finesse the ball. They would just straight come at you hard and intimidate everybody. As the years have gone by, they've learned more and more shots. You know? See? Pickleball players are superstition. They want to play with the same ball that they start with. Here we go. They get the side out. Service by Joy. They really avoided her in that previous one. They were trying to go after Christine. Now Joy with the backhand. Oh. You can see throwing two hands as well. Oh, yeah, she does. She does. But she's got that paddle up high every single time. They're ready for every shot that comes at them. <laughs> Look at that. Great. Going back to find her position again, and yeah, they split the middle. It doesn't matter. Great hands. Yeah. Both sides. Christine and Joey are staying right with it. There's there's the see they're stacking also. They want to get Christine's forehand in the middle. Christine keeps it alive with the underhand. Now we're getting physical and again yep. splitting the middle. We're tied. In the middle. That's right. Well, it's like we said in the last three matches. The first game coming out is emotional. These girls don't want to allow to go through the whole evening and the whole day. They want to win. So they've got a lot of emotion. Out, and it forces the side out. But the team coming in with the emotion is Christine and Joy. They are in the loser's bracket trying to take on Alex and Jennifer. Hamner with the serve first. Those unforced errors. They'll that, add up. Yeah. But they just, their tempo is very fast and very good. Is that how they beat a lot of teams, too, with just such a quick tempo? Yeah, they do. They do. There's a point. Yep. See, they just intimidate. They're so powerful. And they can change to the soft game in an instant. Well, they're powerful on the court, but they're very kind when I met them. Yep. Up in the pace and the tape, just not letting anything by on this side. <laughs> this is the side that you really get the short end of the stick. It does. It does. Side out, down a point. Joy comes in, and Christina and Joy went after that one up the middle, but they couldn't get it up. Second serve on the way. <laughs> Two, three, two. 
I do believe a fast pace favors Alex and Jennifer. It's what they're used to. Here comes a big smash, and it's oh. almost saved and kept yeah. in by Jennifer. Oh, they have no fear. Neither side. None of these four ladies have any fear. All tied up. The mechanics are just so similar to tennis. For both of these players, they have a lot of tennis, you know, aspects and characteristics. As we go along, they'll, they'll settle in. They'll settle in. You know. Just enough. A lot of finesse. Now it's going to get airborne. Still going with a little frenzy. Get cooking in the kitchen. Unforced error. Now that was a tennis swing. You see how she turned her whole body and tried to swing through it? And used two hands as well and on the backhand. You can't go through that if you're below the net. Side out. He just called three four one though. It's three three. Uh, it is three three one. Should be three three one. Uh oh. Ooh. Just want to make sure they get it right. That's all. We're back to pickleball. Great one down the line, and they call. See what happens when the referee makes a mistake like that, and he's not. It throws everybody off the rhythm because they want to go. They want to play. They don't want to be worrying about who's in the right courts or, you know, scores. That's what the referee does. He takes care of everything and lets the players play pickleball. See, she Great did, she shot, broke, switching it over. And she broke her wrist at the last thing. She was looking right at Joey, broke her wrist, and Christine thought she was going to Joey, and it came right at her. Great shot. Great bluff. Tied things up. Just game one right now. Joey, Christine on the right side. Alex and Jennifer, they get the out, though, and they take the lead. Yep. We're all talking. It's been a long, long day for both of these teams. Christine gets lower than any other player out here, man or woman. She gets right down, she puts her right on the heels. And it's impressive how low she gets considering how tall she is as well. Yes, yes she is. But she tried to sneak one by and they were ready for it. Alex trying to build on this lead as a second server. Jennifer came crashing yep. in, but they beat her to the right side. She was trying to let them look at Alex. Alex looked like she was going to hit it. Jen tried to sneak in, but they were ready for it. They get the side out. Not enough unforced error. Changed up the speed on her. She didn't come back hard. Here they go again. Second serve, trying to get something. Look out. A little extra on that last wow. killer. <laughs> you see right in the middle of the point, they go, you go, you go. That's how close they've been playing. I don't know how long Christine and Joey have been playing together. But they are dead. But as long as you get that chemistry they're, during the, the bracket. But they're not letting the other team run away. Oh, no. Oh, she wants that one back. Big error. She was ready to smash it down, trying to get outside of the kitchen and making sure she doesn't step inside, but just reached out too far, straightened her arm, and you're going to get a lot of errors when you straighten your arm. Well, what, the speed of the ball changed, too, and she was all ready for the hard shot. Oh, it rides the tape. It did. A gift for Christine. I remember it's from that side. It's from that right side. 
It's been quite a trend. We'll see if it continues all weekend long. Or if anybody catches on. Then maybe you'll see in these tiebreaker periods, they'll try to start on the left and then end up on the right. Not because of the sun, but because of the net. Caught the baseline. A great shot there. You see Side how quick out. they were to, to graduate him on the great shot. Both these, all four of these gals are class X. Whole bunch of class here in pickleball today. That was a service error. That's bad mistake. At this level, you can't. And there's not away. much wind to really blame it on. It's really gone still. Yeah. Just you a chilly give, night. You can't give up those. Not enough again. Side out. She tried to short it because her partner was back three steps. And she, and of course, she's talking to her about it. I'm going to try to really command this game with this service chance. Not on those shots. That's a really good hit from Christine. Mm -hmm. she, she took a little bit pace off it, put it at their feet. You know, the players are getting tougher every year. Another one low. She gets low, but tries to get, bring the backhand up. And now a timeout called oh, by Joy call, and Christine. You're right. She gets down low. Yeah. So we'll take a break as well. Stay with us while we come back from this timeout in this Women's Open Division Championships at National Six. Back here from the timeout. 8-4 eight, 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 four, four lead on the second serve right now. Alex Hamner with the serve. They're really trying to build on this. Trying to exploit oh, Joy and Christine, and they get under Christine there. You cannot get that ball that high. Not with these girls coming. They're always coming forward. Watch their mode. They're attacking constantly. 9-4. And, and watch they move as a... As a see how she's... Christine. See their... <laughs> Excuse me. But I think, you know, you, they move as a team. You'll notice the same thing on all these teams. They move together up and back. Nice touch there. Backhanded use. Hits the tape. Goes out. out. Yeah. She did have it. At least it went through the tape this time. <laughs> it didn't just drop. They work across deep on the baseline. Now both will go to the net. Another point for Joy and Christine. These girls come to play. They're, they're, they're focused. I'm surprised that they're, they're going after Christine. Look at this. They've stayed with her. Now she goes for a deep shot. And Jennifer gets all the way back. Couldn't get the smash winner. Still a rally. Another one high, and oh, it gets wow. by Jennifer. A nice, nice win, winner nice for Christine. Play. All of a sudden, you know, seven they got nine. four of those back. They got four of them back. So there's just every point's going to be contested. What's the score? Seven nine. Seven, nine one. Here we go. See, this they're game coming back. Is, it's gotten new life. Within two points, Joey, a nice backhand. Christine gets just enough of it. They're not letting them get beat with the power game until they go outside. They're not giving up the middle. Did you see that one was in by a foot? By a foot. Goes for the <laughs> kick. <laughs> it hit her in the foot, so it has to be in by a foot. <laughs> Sorry, we have to have a little humor. Oh, of course. It's been a long day for us as well. Oh, you got it. But we love bringing it to you. There it goes. Another deep ball. Alex gets back there. Oh. Not enough on the return. Eight nine. Eight nine two. They're back in it right now. One point away from tying this up. Tape finally doesn't it allow it in from the right side. That's right. Side out. Big one. That is a big one. They're going to come out. Now, service opportunity to get that tenth and really put Christine and Joy's backs against the wall. Nice touch up in front of the net. Finesse game. Mixed with some power. Beauty and the Beast. Mm. Tough error. 
But they both all four girls are just keep attacking. I see them not happen right now. Another chance up here. Oh. Not enough. Again, point. we go back to that. That's an important point. They got because that tenth. That tenth point is always the most important because it forces the other t team to get four, four points rather than three to win. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, now, Joe and Christine will take their second time out here in the end of the first game. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this timeout at National Six. Welcome back from the timeout. Game points on the way for Alex and Jennifer. This is their first game point. They will serve in the second to serve. Here we go. Game one. We'll see if we get the conclusion of this first one. Backhanded. Christine with the forehand. That goes long. They get the side out. But Alex and Jennifer force the 10th point. Yep. Now, would you, one thing... I think this is the first time Alex's whole family's here, too. That's her three boys and her husband. Ah, uh, they got oh, a little Christine wants caught that one, up in traffic there in the middle. That's right. Shielding so much in the middle, not only can get by them there, but they're getting beat on the sides. Almost a miscommunication to allow the side out. They need a point here, and oh. they won't get it. They got to go back to what got them from three to eight. They have to stay with the, what's been successful. Second game point. Two to get one. There's the three now. Uh, unforced error by Jennifer. They go to the second server. Only one more break needed to try to bring some new life back. It's always hard to get that 11th point. So hard. They crash in on the net. Christine stays overhand, but it's out. First game. All game right. over on the first one. 11-8. Alex and Jennifer take game one. They're one game away from four-peating. Stay with us. Between games, we'll be right back at National Six. All right. Back here in game two of the women's open gold medal match. Game one goes to Alex and Jennifer, and they're one game away from four peating in this division. However, joined Christine, they gave it a battle at the end of that first game. They only lost it 11 to eight. They were really gonna need to put the pedal to the metal here to make sure this isn't a sweep. Look out over here. Wayne, that was coming right for you. Oh, I had my hand up. All right. Now they're talking, they're talking all the time. They're working together, working strategies. Christina, heavy forehand. Oh. And there's the point. They get the, on the board first in the I, second game. In my mind, the right-hand side court is a little bit more lit than the left-hand side court. Because of those lights from, the, from those court two. From the courts two it's and more, four. It's a little bit more in the dark out here. I've noticed this over the years. Another heavy forehand from Christine. And they get the smash winner with Jennifer. You heard what Joey said. She said, I gave it to her. Anything high, these gals will kill you. Second serve now. Here we go. Just enough on the underhand. Finesse game. She's trying to make Joey see Unforced what's happening. Error. No, Joey's dinking from the side of her body. She's not moving her body behind the ball and dinking it. Just watch that. And that's what Jennifer's going to show you. It's all right to do it once, but you can't keep doing it from the side. Oh, oh, what a down point. Down the line, that she caught her sneaking huge, leaning into the middle. Huge forehand again from Jennifer. Yeah, she caught her leaning to the middle. 
That's what they've been doing all night. They've exploited it quickly. Uh, yes, they have. Another point. Back to back. Okay, they're just a little bit out of sync right now. They've got to get forget about those points. They take the lead. They move forward. Great backhand jumping too. But another error, this time if on Joy. You notice, she's trying to dink from the side. And you cannot stay with that. You've got to move your body over to it. It's tough to lift it from that low. Oh, that's right. Off off your body. You can only do one thing with it. A great serve off the sideline, oh, but Alex them. got a little a little over aggressive. That ball was low. Try to lift it. Couldn't get ball. above the tape. Broke the ball. Wow. <laughs> you see Sign it and put it in the Hall of Fame. And you still do you still notice that net's still bouncing? It's still and still moving. <laughs> now that's power. I still hold the lead here on the second serve. Ball getting airborne now. Look out. Not enough. Alex got too cute with that one after she, she just did. broke a ball. She just now, she wanted too change. soft. She wanted to change the speed up. Big side out. Christine serves. She gets the forehand. They're trying to get back Christine out of position. Oh. And now they get a point. That's uncharacteristic. That's usually her bread and butter shot. The back overhand. Yes. A little breeze just came in and it easily just dropped the temperature by yeah. a couple degrees. I'm sure the players felt that too. Good break there. Yep, she got her lean in again. Two, three, two. Alex and Jennifer won game one. They win this one, it's all over. Here we go, a frenzy. Oh, look at that. Oh, she foot faulted and he missed it. Just a bit long. A foot fault right there, he was watching the ball up here. Normally pickleball doesn't lie. Yeah, no, I saw it, I'm sitting there. Right <laughs> that's the ref instinct inside that's of the, you. That's exactly right. So they got a gift. Yeah. There's a big, big side out. At this level, all the gals are leaning into that ball constantly. You know, with the paddles up, they don't bring it down. They don't bring the paddle up from down low. Just not gonna have enough time to react against no. this high level of an opponent. That's right. Another smash. Get the break. Huge oh. hit from Joy. Those young girls can throw that. They can hit the ball hard. All tied up, second serve. Kisses the tape and just gave that much more of an adjustment needed to be made and Alex couldn't make it. It's, it's, yeah, it's very hard. 3-3-1. Three, three, one. Comes inside, underhand. Here we go again. Jennifer was ready for that high ball. She, she goes was. with a jump, she not did. taking a step back, no hesitation. No I told you those two always attack, always attack. They never stop attacking. There's the first break. We've been stuck here at 3-3 three, three for a little bit. They get that ball so deep. Oh, Alex. So the step back. If you'll notice through all these matches, Chris being the king of it, but a lot of people let that ball bounce. If it doesn't have any spin, it's going to bounce to you. So they take that step back. Still 3-3. Three, three. First serve for Jennifer and Alex. Oh, what a top spin. Yeah. What a shot. She split him. She got her wide and, and left, and the gal and Joey didn't come back to the middle. See that time, Joey and Christine, they didn't cheat, and like you said, and left they the middle gave wide it, open. They gave it up there. They've worked the sides. They've worked the middle. Yep. The only way you're going to beat them is with unforced errors. Great communication between the two. They let Alex take the backhand. 
Now Jennifer with the four and eight on the far sideline. Out. As soon as you said, bounce it, yep. Here we go. Here they go again. This is about the time of the match in the last game that they started to really build their lead. They took control of it. They allowed a few points, but it was more on unforced errors. Oh. And a gift from the tape that comes in on Christine's <laughs> wrist. So you've been watching this game for what? You've been watching four finals. There's more balls going off the tapes than I've ever seen before. This isn't a temporary net, too. This is the real deal. Yeah, it is. It shows how much of a priority it is to keep it as close as they can to that tape. And they let that one by. Such you a see? hard play to let go. You called it earlier. They're getting, they're making their run now. All right. Another timeout here for Christine and Joy. We'll take one as well. Stay with us. Nationals six, women's open division. Game two coming back right after this. Back from the timeout. Seven three, first serve, Jennifer. That one's long, and they returned it anyway. And it's so hard to come off a timeout and, and keep the ball in play. It's getting cold. I mean, these timeouts, when you're sitting around, you're starting to get stiff. It's not so much fatigue. Oh. And nice shot from Joy. Right at the feet. Second serve. What a smash from Alex. And the yep. communication again with Jennifer. Yep. You may want to look at that to see if his ball's not broken. <laughs> that had a bunch of pace on it. Okay, they've got to stop him right here. Now, here this, is that, this is that big 10th point. So they need to they get yep. this. You they really. To, and these guys need to stop him. Great backhand from Christine. Still working it. They go deep. Alex with the save and unforced error. Oh, Championship she wants that point. One. Yep, she won. This is for a four Pete. This is for a four Pete, that's correct. Ten three championship point. It's still hard to get the eleventh point, but we'll see. Jennifer backhands. Christine returns. Alex with a great save. Oh, and they that's... let it go. It's out. Game over. Yeah. Tremendous. Four time, four in a row. The champions, Alex Hamner and Jennifer Lucor. Congratulations to the ladies, the champions of the women's open division. We'll have a moment with them after this four time champion. Stay with us after this. Hey Comcast subscribers, my name is Dominic Catronio, lead commentator for USA PA Pickleball. We're talking about the one of the fastest growing sports in the country. We're right here at National Six in Buckeye, Arizona. We also have the Tournament of Champions in Ogden, Utah. What is pickleball, you ask? Smaller version of tennis, one-third size courts, fast-paced, high energy, and you can play it as long as you want. Be sure to check out all of the great action here on Comcast Xfinity On Demand. That right there, guys, is pickleball. All right, welcome back here to Sun City Festival. I'm Dominic Catronio with our four Pete winners. First of all, how does that sound, Alex and Jennifer? Congratulations, four Pete. Did you ever see it coming? Uh, yeah, right after that last point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to, to believe, Take but in. we like that. Yeah, I mean, it's always tough every year, and so we're just like, okay, just every point, you know, every game, and, um, and that's all you can do, and it's like, I just can't, it's so cool. I mean, she's the best partner, so we have the best time. You can tell the chemistry here as well, but they take a timeout in the first game on the 10th point. What did you guys say back here to, you know, really try to put that first game away and give you guys momentum heading into that second one? Same thing, we've been doing the first 10 points. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't really phase us. You know, watch the ball, get the ball over the net, and uh, stick to the plan. And the plan, what was the plan tonight? It really, you guys were exploiting both the sides and came up the middle when it was when it was opened up. Was, was there a specific game plan to try to follow or adjust as you go? I think I probably just covered it, watch the ball, and get the ball over the net. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's always looking for the holes, you know, so. If only it was that easy for the rest of us. Maybe we could be 4P <laughs> champions, but again, awesome. 
It's the fourth time for you, but can you just put into words what it means to you and how does it feel at this point to be national champions once again? You're going to make her cry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make her talk. Yeah, I probably can't. Go, Jen, go. Uh, um, it, it's, just, um, it's just awesome. It's like a pickleball ride, and uh, we're just happy to be here and worked out well. Well, that does it for us over here. Go ahead and collect your hardware, ladies. And again, congratulations. All right, thanks a lot, Nick. Thanks for watching. That does it over here. Now let's give it over to their trophies right. right after this.